Pork crackling is indeed the cherry on top of roast pork that already is a great option for Sunday roast or special celebrations. People have different tips for successful pork crackling, but this recipe I'm going to share today is easy, simple, and of course, fail proof. I have rolled pork loin, but pork belly, leg, or shoulder with skin will work as well. 1.5 kilogram feeds four to five people. The key to achieving that crunchy crackling lies in how well we dry the skin. I thoroughly pat dry the skin and make slits through the skin and fat, taking care not to cut through the meat as you don't want meat juices escaping. Generous rub of sea salt helps draw out excess moisture. For an extra crisp, you can let it air dry uncovered in the fridge for up to 24 hours, but I opted for 5 hours. An hour before cooking, I bring it out, pet dry it again, and it's ready for the oven. In it goes into the middle rack of the preheated oven at 150 degrees C or 300 degrees F. It goes for one and a half hours or until the meat thermometer reads 50 degrees Celsius. Crank up the heat to 250 degrees and roast for an additional 30 minutes. Be sure to stick around, rotate the pan for that even crunch. In the meantime, I like to make Vietnamese dipping sauce, which is my favorite way to enjoy the pork roast. Mix together fish sauce, sugar or stevia, water, and vinegar, lime juice, minced garlic, and a Vietnamese red chili. After about half an hour, the meat thermometer reads 60 degrees Celsius. crackling chatters with each bite. The meat is perfectly succulent and I'm pretty happy with doneness. That tangy Vietnamese dipping sauce cuts through rich pork and pairs really well with the crispy pork. Why not try this recipe this festive season? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more tried and true recipes. Until next time, keep cooking!